in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom sort field for using an index column. Um, and perhaps the best way to show you this is an example. So in this uh, Power BI dashboard I have, I'm going to use a Gantt chart. And then um, you'll discover that Gantt's in this Gantt chart specifically, you can only sort by alphabetical, uh, by the um, categories. But what if you wanted to sort by, say, end dates? Um, that way, it's kind of you want to be able to see what's coming up at the end, at, well, what's coming up earlier than later. So, uh, let's take a look at the challenge and then um, come up with a good solution for this using an index column. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and um, you'll see that I've imported two visuals. Um, we're going to use I tried this Power Gantt chart one. Um, it's it's a premium uh, version and it costs money um, after a thirty day trial. So we will ignore this one. We're going to use the one by uh, MAQ Software. So let's go ahead and um, uh, once you select it, um, we're going to go ahead and drag it in here. Um, and then we're going to have to populate um, the, the Gantt. So category, because I know my uh, we're tracking a Comcare Enterprise, and this data is driven from a SharePoint list. Um, but we know um, the title. But in this case, we're going to use, um, I guess we use the title as the categories. Um, we'll drop them in, and it's not going to show anything because you need to populate the rest of the Gantt because Gantt's need start and end dates. Otherwise, um, it's not going to work. So um, end date, we'll just drop it into end date, and you'll notice that it's an end. It's a calendar value. So we'll go ahead and do the same for uh, start date. And then you should see this. Um, a couple of things here uh, we want to do is um, scroll position. We want to not be at start date, but today. And then you'll see that this kind of pops us in here. And then uh, this display ratio, um, there's a lot of space, but I've been playing around with it. So 25 seems to work well, pretty pretty good. Um, so that kind of, maybe 20, let's try 20. Okay, 20, that looks pretty good. Um, and what you're gonna notice is that um, when this Gantt, really, you can only sort alphabetically by this part. There's nowhere within the visuals or format your visuals that allows you to do anything else. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is um, create, go back into Power Query, and then uh, transform the data, and then we'll sort it by the end date, and then we'll add an index column. So the order of operations will be sort ascending, um, earliest to latest on end date, and then add an index. And then we'll use that index to create your new order um, of this. So um, it should make sense once I, once I pop into... Uh, uh, the query editor. So um, go ahead and transform data. And we're going to get this um, here. You see all the steps I've taken in here. Um, I've already changed things to date. So I can go ahead, since I've already transformed this into a date, uh, the end date, since this is the field we're going to use to um, sort, sort it. So we're going to go ahead and, and um, uh, oh, sorry this little box here, sort uh, ascending. And then you should see it go chronologically. Um, let's see what happens. Maybe I need to speed this up post recording. So let's see what happens. We're in real time right now. Um, oh, I think it looks like it's done. Uh, 6.30, 2022, all the way to 6.30, 2024. A brief scan seems to be working pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and now add an index column. So you go ahead and add and column, and then index column, pretty straightforward. And you can go from one, because we're not going to go from zero. Um, and the index right there. Go ahead, and that's pretty straight. And that's pretty much it. Uh, We'll go home and then close and apply. And then it's going to go ahead and refresh the query. Um, I'm going to apply the changes. Things should be happening. Oh, here we go. Um, maybe this is also future me going to need to. Um, and we're back. Um, so it, we've now created an index column and a new step. So um, all we have to do is go into your, uh, we're still in the Gantt visual here. 
Um, and then we just need to add index into here. Um, and then keep an eye on this, right? So it's under USAID. Um, so we go ahead and add index in front of it. Um, and then we should be able to drag this. Uh, does not appear to like. Too much. Okay, there you go. And then now if we just sort one, two, three, and this is now, you can see the end dates have stacked neatly like this. Um, so we can get a sense of what's happening um, when we should start worrying about or when things are complete uh, by the end date. Um, so hopefully this is helpful in terms of how you can utilize an index column uh, to sort to create a custom sort. Um, well, depending on you, how you want to sort, um, in this case, using um, an ascending order of the end date that we did within uh, the query editor. So hopefully this is helpful. And um, um, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.